So old guy coding here again today, and I put up on Thingiverse uh, some uh, um, little tools to help with the bit changes. You know, I did that recent bit change video, and I certainly felt very foolish trying to change that bit. Well, with only two hands, those come out really clean. It's amazing. But uh, so I created these little tool holders just to make our lives a little bit easier in case you all there were looking like foolish like me. So how this works, <coughs> this is the stubby version. We've got a longer version up there too. So this thing comes in two parts. Need to assemble it. So the second part is this little uh, adjuster guy here. It's got room for a flat blade uh, screwdriver. Uh, you're going to be tempted to put a big flat blade screwdriver in there. Don't do that because it, if it mars up the threads on the edges of the uh, um, piece here, you won't be able to get it back out. Not that you want to get it out necessarily, but it might be inconvenient. So I recommend uh, putting a big old flat blade head, which this is not, uh, on... Um, <coughs> Uh, uh, driver and then uh, driving it in like this. It'd be nice if I had a little bit larger head there on here, but I don't. So now we'll just uh, drive it in that way. Of course it tears up everything here. So, so I'm going to resort back to this guy, but if you put it in too far, these wide edges here will damage the threads right here. These wide edges will damage the threads and you won't be able to get the piece back out if you wanted to. But this certainly is the right tool for the job. So we'll just drive her up in there a little bit. And especially these short guys, this uh, this thing is fine. Uh, it's not until you get deep down inside there that uh, starts hitting the threads on the sides and, and damaging things. So that might actually be far enough or even too far on this little stubby guy. So these little short ones really are made for just the one and a half inch uh, bits and really nothing any larger. That's an eighth inch bit. So we're going to use the eighth inch tool. It's got the eighth inch hole down in there, down in the bottom there. And uh, I've got this pull, the, the adjustment pulled almost all the way back here. So we're just going to insert that up in there. <coughs> now we're going to grasp the, uh, let me take my hand away first. We're going to grasp the thing. Uh, I'm just going to grab the, the DeWalt uh, W660. Uh, I'm going to put my finger over the uh, the uh, locking switch and that goes up there and I'm going to use my last one or two fingers down here to support the um, the tool. So push the switch in. I am twisting correctly, right? Yep, there we go. We'll just untwist it a bit. The bit falls out. It's in here. It didn't fall out quite perfectly. We want it to be centered in there and there's a little detent in the adjuster to uh, help locate that guy in the center. Get that right there. Okay, so so before putting the new one in, I'm going to put a round nose bit in here. You probably can't even hardly see that. I can't hardly see that. So I'm going to put it in the hole in the middle and I'm going to uh, wiggle it around until it kind of locks into the detent in the center of the adjuster down there. So it's, so it's mostly centered. And we'll just uh, find Collet hole here with it. Slip it back up in there. Snug it up a bit. Not so tight it can't get it out. <clears throat> and there's the round nose bit. And it should be at the same height that the other one was at. Perfect. So that makes life easy changing, uh, you know, from uh, the same bit size to the same bit size. But you can also change uh, between uh, the eighth and the, the quarter inch very easily. We'll just do this again. I'm just going to grab it. But this time we're going to take the whole collet assembly off. It's right off of there. Is it off? No, nope, not quite yet. Almost. A lot of thread on there. Got a long ways to go. There we're off. So as you can see the whole assembly drops right down in there. So I'm just going to take this guy which is a quarter inch uh, uh, V-bit that I've been using. And we're going to drop that guy down inside there. 
And then we're going to put the, co the collet, collet, collet nut over the top. And we'll slip the collet in there. The one that rolled away on me. There it is. There it is. So now we've got that whole assembly put together. And we're going to assume the position, lock the bit, or lock the drive, and hold that guy with my finger on the bottom to hold it up. As long as you're holding pressure up against it, you're going to get uh, the height that you think on the bit that you would expect. There it is. I'll snug it up. So, let's see how close I was just guessing the adjustment on that other guy. And of course we could tweak, tweak these much better. That wasn't bad. Look at that. Darn close. Could tweak that one just a little bit. So that way each size you could adjust now so that you have it to the point you want with the amount of uh, stick out that you expect. And uh, there's the longer versions if you happen to use longer bits. I don't have one, at least not yet. So um, when the time comes, if we need longer ones, we can make longer ones too. <clears throat> I hope that's useful. I hope you found this useful. I hope these tools will be useful to you. Um, certainly like, comment, uh, share the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.